My fresh coffee. 30 baht. You know what 30 baht is? I think that's less than a US dollar right now. How much money did I save compared to living back home in the United States? Hmm. Put 800,000 baht in a Thai bank? What are you, crazy? Just let it sit there and not earn any interest or anything? There's no way I would do that. Or would I? Let's talk about that. Hey, JC here. If you're familiar with my channel, you know my job is to get you from where you are now to where you want to be, and hopefully that's a retirement in Thailand or someplace in Southeast Asia. And any way I can help you to do that is my job. So I want to talk to you a little bit about this 800,000 Thai baht. That's one of the requirements if you want to get a retirement extension within Thailand. I see a lot of people saying bad things about Thai immigration, that they just want to keep this money and it's, it's sitting there and it's a waste of money. I love perspective. What I want to do today is to give you a little bit different perspective on how I see the 800,000 baht sitting in a Thai bank. So what's my perspective? Okay, let's just talk about this just for a second. Do you invest your money do you have a retirement income or a pension or social security or money in a bank or an investment account? That's even better. How much money do you have in your investment account or in your bank? How much interest do you get in return off of that? Well, here's a different way to look at that 800,000 bot sitting in a Thai bank. Now, if you have income coming in, a retirement income, and you can meet the income requirements of 65,000 baht a month, no worries, just go ahead and do that. If you have the 800,000 baht and you want to put it in a Thai bank and not worry about it, done deal. But if you're thinking, okay, I have the money, but it's in an investment account, I want to keep it earning interest. Well, let me talk to you about that for just a second. The way I see this is, I'm always talking to YouTubers about intangible benefits of living in Thailand. And to me, that's the biggest benefit of me living in Thailand, the intangibles, the things that you can't put your, your hands on, your touch. But one thing about this 800,000, it allows you to live in Thailand. Now, why is that a big deal? Okay, let's talk about this for a second. 800,000 baht in US dollars right now is over $25,000, 25, three, something like that. Now. If I'm saving money at a rate that's higher than if I was living back in my home country and earning money off that investment, what, what am I losing? What am I missing here? Okay, so if I'm saving, say, a dollar, two dollars a day on coffee in 30 days, well, how much is that? 60 US dollars, not a big deal. Okay. So I ride my motorbike and it costs me about $3 a week to operate my motorcycle with the fuel. How much do you spend in a week on your fuel? Okay, insurance. I don't actually have to have additional insurance. I'm insured on the motorbike already. How much do you pay for insurance for your vehicle? Hmm. How about meals? What is it costing you to eat out or, or buy food in a grocery store? Now we'll talk about a big one. Rent. I rent a house for $300, and that's a lot here. I know people that rent for less than $100 for a room, but we have a house, $300. That same house back in America would be $1,200, $1,300 US dollars. Hmm, okay, so let's say I'm saving, well, we'll round it off, $1,000 a month. I'm saving in my pocket $1,000 a month. 
And to do that, I've invested 25000 in a bank account in Thailand. Now, the banks in Thailand, no worries. I mean, this is first world banking here. So if you think, of, oh, uh, they, they might take my money. Okay, don't put it here, don't live here. I'm telling you, the banking system is safe here. If other people have different opinions, that's okay. Well, no worries. If you're saying, well, if I put the 25000 into a Thai bank and I decide I don't want to live there anymore, how am I going to get the money out? Well, one of the requirements now with the new regulations is the money has to be shown coming from abroad. Guess what you need to show if you want to repatriate money out of Thailand? That's right, it came from abroad. Already a done deal. You'd already have the paperwork to be able to repatriate the money. So if I'm making $1,000 a month by putting $25,000 in a bank in Thailand, the question would be, am I making more or less than that money would make in an investment account back home? Now, of course, you would rather have be living in Thailand, not have the $25,000 in a bank here, and the money invested back in your home country. Anyways, wouldn't you? Yeah, sure. But again, this is a perspective. I'm trying to give you a different perspective on what it means to put that money over here in Thailand. To me, it's an investment account. I've invested in being able to save so much money every month and get all the intangible benefits as well. So to me, it's a no-brainer. So I just wanted to reach out to you all and give you a little bit different perspective on how I see the 800,000. Now, another thing, I have members and stuff that, that talk to me and say, listen, they want 65,000 about a month coming in as income. I don't use 65,000 a month. I only use 30, 40,000. Those people, I say, go ahead and put the money in the 65,000 for one year and you've complied. You get your retirement visa. If you're going for that option, do it. And they said, but why? And I said, because you're only using 30 or 40, you're gonna accumulate the 800,000 over time with the money that you're not using. Then you have the 800,000 invested over here and you're able to live cheaply. Does any of that make sense to you? I hope it does. I hope this has been helpful. I know that people are still gonna bitch and complain about the, the requirements and all this stuff, and that's okay, they can do it. But for me, there's a lot of different ways to massage numbers, to get people to be able to live in Thailand and to have them understand that it's still a value to live here, even if you have to put the money in because you're getting such a return on your investment, in my opinion. So, hope it's helpful. Remember, when it comes to complying with the retirements for the retirement extension within Thailand, there's always an option and there's a number of them and hopefully I'll be able to reach out to you and give you some more and a little bit different perspectives on how to look at some of these things because if you change your perspective on things, you change how you feel about them. It's all perspective. It's all what you believe something means and the people that make comments about this means that Thailand just wants your money and they want to increase their... For them, they're going to feel bad about it. For me, I look at it and say, wow, I invest 25000 I can always take it back out if I want to, but I save so much money every month and I live this kind of incredible life that I have that I'm so blessed to have. Always an option, even when it comes to your perspective of life. Thirteen baht for an apple. That's like 35, 36 cents or something like that. How much is an apple costing back home? How much you save in buying this here? Hmm. Song Luke some up. And you said, ha, huh, two for 25 baht. Cup, coon, cup. Thank you. <sighs> Gotta love Thailand. See you, JC, out. Hey, JC here. My YouTube channel, Retire Cheap JC, is about helping retirees get from where they are now to where they want to be, which is usually a retirement in some place like Thailand. 
these days there's a lot of reasons why you'd want to move from your home country to some other place. And we won't go into all those, but one of the biggest ones are financial concerns. I put together a document for you all. There's a link here and a link down here that you can download for free. It's called the seven most stressful financial concerns of pre-retirees and retirees and how moving to someplace like Thailand eliminates them. Most retirees are now worried about running out of money or the increasing cost of health care, inflation, or just leaving their loved ones financial burdens when they pass. Well, all those are discussed in the document. Go ahead and download it. And then I'm going to touch base with you and talk to you about each one of these and why I think moving to Thailand eliminates those concerns altogether. So check it out, and I'll be in touch with you soon. JC out. Hey, JC here. If you like that video, make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel here. Also, we have another video up here you're going to be really interested in watching as well. And if you're looking for all the details of how to retire in Thailand in one place, plus a group of people to support you, check this out over here. Give it a click.